I recently had this argument with a friend about whether or not there could be such a thing as positive racism and I obviously won the argument because he's Asian. What does he know? Joking. I'm joking. I don't have Asian friends. Uh, that's another lie. <laughs> don't ever trust a white person. Especially when it involves a train. So racist jokes aside, which not a really great way to start a sentence, I'm really fortunate to have won the genetic lottery. I am white, I am male, and I live in North America. I'm good. That doesn't mean I don't have real life issues or failings or struggles, but it does mean that I never really have to worry about not getting a job, being leered at, being denied service because I am a white male. Statistically speaking, I'm pretty amazing. And maybe just a touch in reality as well. Now getting back to that big conversation I was talking to you about before, is there such a thing as positive racism? I'm talking about how African Americans are great at sports, Asians are great at math, whites are awesome at being rich, those types of things. The definition of racism states that, let me put my glasses back on. Well, that was weird, wasn't it? <clears throat> so it states that it is a racetrack, especially one used for harness racing. That's not right. Maybe I should take my glasses back off. No, it's a belief in the superiority of a particular race. This means that it is impossible to have positive racism. It is possible, however, to have positive stereotypes, though those have their own problems as well. Believe me, I do it too. It's like some sort of psychosomatic shorthand that our brains force upon us to just save time. For me, it's that every woman north of 55 is gonna call me hun if I'm at this particular gay bar in town that my nipples are gonna get tweaked and that if I'm ever at a frat party, I'm gonna be surrounded by assholes. Why am I at a frat party? Uh, let's say that's where I have my conversation. I get to be pleasantly surprised when those things don't happen and at the end of the day, I'm not entirely convinced that it's a bad thing to have stereotypes in our heads as long as we realize that they are stereotypes, that those are not for every single person. Each person is their own special snowflake, is what I'm really trying to say in this video. What a pretentious dick. That is a stereotype that you have, but I'm telling you, you're completely right. There are Asians that are bad at math. There's also Jewish people who are not rabbis or in the entertainment industry, and gingers have souls. Or so I'm told. There are gonna be times though when stereotypes do hold up. There is a reason why those stereotypes started in the first place. There are Asians that are good at math, but you know what, maybe they also love heavy metal. They enjoy a good Guinness every now and again. Their favorite show on television right now is The Good Wife. His name is Rick, he's a really great stand-up guy, entirely not made up. People are super duper complex, and we can't just pigeonhole them into what we think they are until we find out what they really are. Get to know those people, you'll be you know, greatly enriched at what you find. Or repulsed. It's very possible you'll be very, very repulsed. Rick introduced me to hentai and I'm just, I... I'm a different person. What stereotypes annoy you the most? Let me know down in the comments below. All my social media stuff is down in the description. My name is Kyle, I am a terrible person, and I'll see you all again next Thursday.